The next honoree is someone very special to all of us. Right when we got the Mikdash Melech, we were hearing up to five, six, even seven schmoozes a week as we needed reprogramming in many areas. Many of the ideas were totally new concepts, which we couldn't understand at all. I would write a list of these items down throughout the week, and I would meet every Friday for an hour with Rabbi Maimon. He would explain me the concept from concept to concept with amazing clarity, a muscle, a story, with his beaming smile and his patience beyond belief. I was one of many. The rabbi would have meetings lined up with students till 4 a.m., each one on a one-to-one -one individual basis in whatever subject he needed help in. It could be hashkafa, halakha, a juicy ksois you're grappling with, or of Chaim, it didn't matter. One meeting after the next for hours on end. One of the seven wonders of Mikdash Melech was when does Rabbi Maimon sleep? His midat emet and his devotion to us Talmidim is unparalleled. We would like to present Rabbi Maimon with the Avudat HaKodesh Award and the honor of being Misayim Shas, followed by some dancing. I would also like to invite the Rosh Hashiva to present this award. Words cannot express my personal hakarara tov to Yadid Nafshi, happens to be my cousin also, for <clears throat> the name of the award is Avodata Kodesh, and it's it understates the labor of love. The words that were said before are very, very true. Miksat Shevacho that he's, he, he is Avata Torah and he gives over the Avata Torah. <clears throat> I also don't want to forget to welcome the Rabbanit, his Eshet Chayil, on the, uh, on the video that I made uh, well, uh, honoring you. Of, uh, we shot a video a few weeks ago. I said your family, but I forgot to mention Naomi Tichia. So, it's uh, a wonderful Eshet Chayel behind the uh, Tzaddik. Bezat <laughs> Hashem, we should be zocher to have, have you for many, many years of good health. Yeshuvah Da'at, Al Biyad Goel Tzedek. Amen. So good. I think what I want to say is thank you. But I want to say it a few times. First, I want to say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Kid from Seattle. Ends up over here, part of Mikdash Melech. Talmidim and Talmidim, Talmidim. Ends up, Shifti Bevet Hashem Koyemei Chayai. 
That's amazing. It's just chastei shamayim. And I have to say thank you. I also want to say thank you to all the Rabbanim, the ones that are here and the ones that aren't here. Mishnah tells us that we don't have no more Eshkolot. A person that has everything doesn't exist. No more. But we in Mikdash Melech, we all take part and we all make one whole. And I have to thank all the Rabbanim for their part. I want to thank you. You, the Talmidim of Mikdash Melech. Of course, there's Mitalmidai Yoter Mikulam, that's for sure. But I want to thank you for something else. I want you to thank you for making Mikdash Melech a place we've heard the term used tonight, where we have Bene Aliyah. A group of young men coming together, wanting to grow, striving, reaching, inspiring. That makes an environment for me and you to grow. I'm still there. My beracha to you is that wherever you are, you should be zochet to that kind of environment. Make yourselves an environment of people who want to grow, who are interested in growing in Torah, Yerat Shamayim, Tefillah. I want to thank my wife, Naomi. From when we got married, she took the all of the parnasa. She took the all of the children. She took the all of the offices. She just wanted me to learn. Then I came to Mikdash Melech, and she kept encouraging me, pushing me. She said, "You don't belong at home. I try to be a good husband sometime. No, <laughs> go to yeshiva. Go learn. Go teach. That's your place. That's where you belong." I have to tell you, boys. I said before that we have a whole staff, and we have a whole staff. But each one of us doing our part that makes that whole staff, you need somebody me'alo me'ever. You need somebody on top, somebody where everything goes through. Somebody who gives direction, somebody whose goal is the neshama of the tefillah. And I want to personally thank, on behalf of everybody too, the Rosh Hashiva of Chaim Ben Elil. He's that person, and with his insight, his courage, his determination, he's given us the possibility and he's led us to make Mikdash Melech what it is. Thank you. <laughs>